right it's time for an experiment i want to see which tpeg out of these three gives me the alt optimum performance from my driver i've seen videos done that suggest that by choosing the correct one of these correct correct t height i potentially will get better performance out of my driving stats and it's not something i've ever considered before quite honest so really keen to see how that will impact on my overall performance in the hands of the average golfer driver is at the ready the sun is shining pause the video right now make your decision which one of these three is going to get better performance so we're looking about an inch high on the white inch and a half pink or two inch high on the orange which one is going to get best performance for the average golfer when using driver and will i what are we going to see differences so we're going to see launch angle we're imagining it affects spin number carry distance total distance and also the angle of attack so all interesting things and to see how much difference it has on overall performance so stick your winner down below right now in the comments box which one of them do you think will perform the best for me second thing to do right now i keep asking at the end of the video i'm going to switch that round if you don't subscribe to the channel then please hit that subscribe button at any time throughout this video it will be greatly appreciated and at the end of the video if you have enjoyed the content then please hit that like button comments down below and i will do my very best to reply to all those right that's enough of the please made i will move camera start hitting some golf balls on this gorgeous day and see which one of these tea pegs gives me the best performance okay so we're going to do this video a little bit different i'm going to try and get three shots with each tee height that are similar in strike so basically three shots that i'm particularly happy with in terms of performance what i don't want to do because it's going to be i don't want to take a very small um sample of shots and start to try and present something to you that's quite questionable so it might take me a while but i'm going to try and get three shots like i said that are very very similar in the strike pattern and balls that I'm particularly happy with. So I'm gonna go, go away and do that. But before I do that, I just wanna talk about, let's start, I'm gonna start off with the white tee. The white tee, when the club is sat, and I'm using G400 Max Driver, when the ball club is sat behind the ball, and you can have a look at a close up of this now, the ball, I would say a quarter of the ball is above the club face when it's sat down behind it. For me, the white tee just looks that little bit smaller. It's a type of tee I would look if I was trying to get that ball, maybe a bit more of a cutty shot, maybe to keep that ball just that little bit lower, a bit more control. But uh, other than that, it looks just that little bit too small and compact for me. That said, let's hit the first one with the camera on and then I'll go away and see if I can, see how long it'll take me. Could be here several days. I'll be using that one. More than happy with that. I'm going to hit some more shots. We'll record the data and then we'll move on. I'll speak to you in two seconds and we'll talk about the pink tea, which is where I'll go to after this. Right, so pink tea now. Didn't take too long that. Did okay. Um, white tea performance, visually okay. Ball flight, more penetrating, lower as I would probably expect. And launch angle. I would say for me, looked a little bit low, but we'll get to that in a shortly. Now, first, next thing I want to talk about is how the G400 Max now sets up behind the golf ball with the pink tee. And I would suggest from where I'm looking, but we'll get a close up from the other side, uh, what you're looking at now, about half of the golf ball is sitting above the club face when it's grounded behind the, um, the ball at address. For me, it's a much more natural position in terms of where I would tee the golf ball up. That's the kind of thing that I'm particularly comfortable. It's where I understand I should have the tee, uh, how it should be teed up. We'll see whether my understanding where it should be and where it actually in performance wise, we'll see that shortly. But at the moment, that'd be the choice for me in terms of the tee, in terms of how I like the club head to sit behind the ball. Well, I might as well stay in it one on camera. Eh? And again, even from that ball, whilst it's up there now, higher ball flight straight away, totally different than what I hit with the, than any of the tee shots with the, uh, with the white. And again, you see that ball getting up and out there straight away. We shall see. 
Right, I'll hit a few more with this and then we're back again just to discuss how this sits behind the ball with the orange tee peg. Okay, so golf ball's well underway now. The experiment is getting somewhere and we're now onto the orange tee peg. Right, same as before, club head behind the ball. Now then, big difference here for me, almost three quarters of the ball now is above the club face at address. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, it sort of suggests an address that's, I know this won't happen, or shouldn't do, but it almost suggests that the club head is gonna sweep right under that ball and you're gonna fire one up high. And we know that doesn't necessarily happen. And I'm no doubt my angle of attack is gonna be very much on the upward swing now, upward, and, and again, I would expect launch angle to be significantly higher. That's what's going on on my head, at least visually, when I look down at that. Whether or not that's what happens in terms of performance, we'll see in the numbers at the end. But slightly more uncomfortable with this T height. This is very much T at high, let it fly. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, it's a bit too high, I think, for me. That's a really good shot to be fair, but again, watching the ball out there into the range, huge amount of launch, I'd be interested to see it comes down at very much a steep descent angle, um, and I've got to imagine that that ball isn't rolling out that far, but anyway, let me hit some more golf balls with the orange tee. We'll get three of each now, some consistent shots, and then we'll sit down and we'll have a good look at these numbers and see how this all translates into overall performance with this driver. Okay, well, that was, an, it, for me personally, an interesting experiment. And again, be very much interested in your feedback on this one. I think the first question is, before I go into this, is what T height or what color T or T height do you uh, currently sort of work with yourself at the moment? And have, is it something, you even consider when you stood on the tee, do you vary your tee height depending on, uh, on different situations, different courses and what you're looking for from ball flight? I don't know, for me, like I said, it's not something that I uh, really to pay, pay too much attention to. The only thing I will say is I've always teed the ball up with sort of maybe half of the golf ball itself slightly uh, above the club face at address. That's a rule of thumb that I've worked with. But anyway, first of all, let's get into the numbers and I'll throw you up the data on the white tees. So white tee, very quickly, um, spin rate um, 2397 on average, 241 carry, 268 overall, launching at 11.3, which is quite low, and again, what I'd have expected. Average height, 76 yards, 76 feet, sorry. Um, an angle of attack, uh, a negative angle of attack, zero, minus 0 0.3. I think, pretty much everything that I would expect to have gotten from the white tee bore out. I think that's fair to say. Let's not compare just yet because we'll go into the pink tee, which is the one I felt most comfortable with and probably how I would naturally tee a driver up. So spin drop right down now to 2150. So happy with the spin number on that. 245 carry. So we've gained a four yard carry, lower spinning and 271 overall. Not massive difference there, not massive gains, but that 245 carry as opposed to 241 carry is an interesting one. I'll come back to that in a minute. Launch angle went naturally again to 13.6 and peak height 87 feet. So again, all those things were pretty much as you'd expect. Didn't pick up the data on shot number three, unfortunately, but it gave us um, an average of 4.3 on angle of attack but shot two seemed uh, very different. So it's a shame we couldn't have got shot three in there really. But once again, all those things pretty much came out as you would expect, or at least as I was expecting with the different tee heights. Then let's get into the orange tee. A little bit more uncomfortable for me in terms of how the club sat behind the ball, didn't quite like it. Spin again, went right up now to 2711. Carry distance 242, so good carry distance, but again, with the higher spinning, the, and again, the angle of descent and where this came back from, because I'll just flick to the height column, peak height was 102 yards, and again, I could see that when I was hitting the ball, and maybe if you were looking sort of downwind, uh, teeing this ball up onto an orange tee, 
getting that ball up to 102 yards of peak height and letting the wind just carry it then I can see where that would definitely work um, but vice versa and this thing is going to absolutely bloom launch angle went up to 14.3 and total yard is down to 261 so a considerable difference in loss of distance on the orange tee and the only way like I said that, that would work for me is literally playing downwind when you're looking to really tee that ball and get it airborne of the three tees clearly for me although only a minor difference and I expected a bigger difference especially with the uh, angle of attack everyone talks about how you've got to hit up on the ball uh, when hitting driver and there was two different scenarios there and not a massive difference in performance and again only over a small uh, ratio of shots but the angle of attack very much swinging and connecting the ball on the upswing um, with the orange tee peg and the opposite effect with the white tee peg and the overall differences in performance like I said weren't that greatly different so that's an interesting one for me it was very much the middle tee peg did a bit of everything it got good carry distance and I think again when I said about this carry at 245 the interesting for me whether it be summer or even more so winter conditions when you're looking for the long carry um, but not compromising with blooming in spin then again that orange oh sorry that pink tee peg height was absolutely perfect for me launch angle at 13.6 was good and like I said although it only gained small amounts of yardage I think overall performance on the um, the pink tee suggested that that was the winner if there was a winner but it certainly proved to me that that pink T height was about right if I translate the pink T height like I said into what if I was using any old T straight T peg I would suggest that and I think it's a rule of thumb that a lot of people have worked with so I'm, I don't want to state the obvious but at least we tried to prove it is pretty much half of your golf ball sitting proudly above the club head uh, when you lay it uh, on the ground at a dress I like I said I've worked with that sort of mindset um yeah that's something that i've always used and uh, that's that that's that height i would say that pink t anyway i'm not gonna be tend i'm not i'm gonna look into where i struck it on the club i'm not going to talk about angle of attack too much because i'm not gonna be ten that i'm an expert in this because i'm as you know i am not i'm trying to relay this information in layman's terms as i would interpret it um so i hope that was useful i hope you enjoyed the video like i said i try and make it short and sweet like i said earlier on comments down below love the interaction thumbs up if you like the video and once again subscribe if you don't already i think that's that test and little experiment done i'm going to move on and i'll see you very very soon on Upload tv